In this tutorial, we are going to learn to create a point. In the previous tutorial, we learned to turn the grid on, and that's where we're going to start from. Let's draw a point. So we currently have active the Move tool. Let's go to the New Point tool, click on it, not on the arrow, click on the, the tool itself. Now that's the active tool there. So we go over here to the drawing pad and I want to show you something useful about GeoGebra. Notice that when we get close, you see the crosshairs, when we get close to a grid point, see we're not on that grid point too, too, but GeoGebra assumes that if we're close to a grid point, we want the grid point. Let's draw a point at 1, 1. So we get close to 1, 1 and now we see it's 1, 1. As long as it says 1, 1, when we click, that's the point we'll get. So let's click and notice it's 1, 1, 1, 1. So what you see is what you get. <laughs> okay, so we have a blue point with a capital A. Geogebra is case sensitive. After you've gotten burned a few times, you will remember the sentence, Geogebra is case sensitive. It's very useful that it's case sensitive, but a little, a little bit annoying at the beginning, shall we say. So a little a, is not this object. This object's name is capital A. <laughs> okay, now let's look over here. We see in the drawing pad the point and its label. Now let's look over here in the algebra view. It says that the point A is exactly 1, 1 and that it's a free object. That means it doesn't depend on any other object. So we have used the new point tool to create the free point capital A whose coordinates are 1, 1. 